Hi everybody, welcome back to day four. It's Monday afternoon, I took the weekend off from this project. While I was still working, I was editing the previous videos, but um, I haven't done this in two days now, so we'll see how, <laughs> how I held up. So for today, I thought, well, I was trying to think of a subject matter that would be both uh, helpful to practice as well as good for the studies. And I thought I would do some, some hands because um, I could always brush up on that. They're pretty difficult. Get some shadow studies done and some hand studies at the same time. So I'll just sketch in a few here and then we'll get into it. struggling just to get that down. Um, this is another reason why I wanted to keep up this habit because, uh, oh shoot, I got a paint job, I'm fine. Um, I'll have to find it later. <laughs> Even just a few days of not drawing, you can feel it. I'm sticking with black and white because I don't think I'm ready for color yet. Uh, it went on my keyboard. So that's what happened right now. <laughs> One second. Hands are really hard. downstairs and started a fire because it's cold today. I should have taken a bit more time on the drawing because it's such a complicated shape, these hands.
push the shadows more. I like push the contrast more. concentrate today. It's just not happening. Um, so I took a break. Quite a long one. I went downstairs. Had some curry. Hung out by the fire. It's cold today. And made a new pot of coffee. I'm only supposed to have one cup of coffee a day, but I always want a little bit of coffee after a meal. So, it's just a little one. I think I also was listening to the wrong kind of music. I need something that like I'm familiar with and is enough backgroundy to not be too distracting. Usually something like instrumental. But if it's something I don't know, then I'm paying attention to the music too much. <laughs> I think that tomorrow I'll make little puddles of like a medium tone, a light tone, and a dark and you know, like three tones. But a good sized puddle that I don't have to keep mixing because eh, it's wasting time and also maybe I'll just see where I need to shift a little bit clearer. So I'm trying to keep the lighter tones on this other palette just to try to keep the white clean. It's really hard to keep the white clean. <laughs> I've noticed while editing that I always take a deep breath before I'm going to do something. Like make a mark. <laughs> it's kind of funny and annoying at the same time. so much with painting is that I use line to define everything and I think good painting doesn't rely on line it relies on value that is my weakness so it's really challenging for me some of these would have been easier to do on like a tone, like a medium gray, because it would help bring the darks and lights forward in the shapes. I don't know. I just feel like it would be. Now this reference is on a white background. Maybe that 
will be more helpful, although my expectations are very low at this point. I was having such a hard time with this that day, um, probably because I took the weekend off and also because the subject matter is kind of tricky. I mean, hands are like little trees on the end of your arms <laughs> and they're kind of uh, very expressive and very... Um, difficult to do and um, as a person that's used to drawing things out, painting things out is even harder. But uh, now looking back on the footage and my sketchbook page, I, I realize it wasn't all that bad and I did get some, some interesting things. I figured out how to do some blending on the last hint and um, I think I did define a lot of the shapes. Some of the poses were kind of tricky to do, uh, but you know, that's what this is all about. And um, why not to kill, kill two birds with one stone? I mean, it would have been easier to just um, maybe do some gouache painting that wasn't also a study of a sort, but I didn't want to have to be creative, to be honest. <laughs> and so um, that's why I like studies when I'm kind of in a head jam, because I can just uh, try to replicate what I see and learn from that. And that pressure to do something interesting is kind of off my plate or if I happen to do something interesting then that's a bonus. Thank you for joining me for another session. I hope you'll join me for the next one. Three more to go guys. I'm almost there. It's uh, been a struggle but um, yeah I, I do feel like I'm oiling the hinges so to speak. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I hope I'll see you at the next one. And until then, I hope you'll take some time in your sketchbook too. Bye.